Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Chowen. I'm a senior at Nichols College studying business management, marketing, and entrepreneurship. For the past three months, I've been 3,000 miles away to pursue an internship abroad in Dublin, Ireland for the semester. This opportunity would not be possible without Nichols College and its support to get me here. Today, I'm here to give you a day in the life perspective of what it's like to live in Ireland. So follow along as I take you through my day. So this is where I've been living for the past couple of months. Even though I'm doing an internship here, I get to live in a student accommodation, which has made it really easy for me to meet new people that are from all sorts of different areas in the world. So very, very cool. Here in Ireland, I've been working for Goal, a humanitarian relief organization that prides itself on being agile first responders to humanitarian crises and natural disasters by working in vulnerable communities and aiding its survival. Most recently, we've been responding to the most recent earthquake in Haiti and have teams on the ground supporting those in need. My role as fundraising and event management intern is to plan, run, and execute three major fundraising events while I'm here. In October, we successfully held our annual Jersey Day event where students and colleagues wore their favorite favorite jersey in support of our work on the ground. In November, we hold the annual black tie event. This event is attended by hundreds of goal supporters and consists of dinner, raffles, live auctions, and of course, entertainment. And lastly, uh, in December is the annual goal mile. The annual event is held during Christmas time and I was so fortunate last week to attend this year's official photo launch, but I will not be able to attend the goal mile this year because it is during Christmas time. Three months have been really, really amazing here. And I'm so happy I can take you through my day today and reflect on the past few months as I reach my last few weeks here, actually one week left in Dublin. Here in Ireland, I work two days a week in the office and three days a week at home. So this creates a really nice balance where I can come in the office some days and other days I don't have to come to the office. But it has given me my first chance to experience work culture, which is exactly why I'm here. See ya. to Cooper, Nick, and Brian. Never forget Olsen.
this is a really good question and something that I've asked myself for a very long time now. I think nowadays, you know, in the wake of the pandemic, we're so fortunate to have realized the potential of remote work. Employers are now realizing the benefits of working remotely from home. And I believe we're gonna see this trend continue even when the pandemic is finally over. And I think with a remote work comes this sense of this freedom, this flexibility. And I've given some thought about this personally, and I could really see myself working in a full-time remote position not too far off into the future because it would give me the opportunity to travel, to stay somewhere new each month and explore the world on a salary with flexibility while still pursuing a career in, in my field of interest. And so I think, Remote work definitely has its perks if you just utilize it right. And I don't think it's really that hard, you know? You just gotta put yourself out there. And I think, but if you're also looking for a similar experience as mine, I recommend enough the opportunity to study or intern abroad. You know, it was such a huge career developing opportunity for me. and exposed me to so many different new customs, beliefs, experiences, and, and people. I've met so many different people from all over the world. And I think that if you, if you think that living in another country is not r really your thing, you know, I promise you it will make you realize things about the world that you've, that you've never even thought about before. And it will shock you how easy it is to make friends, to meet people in another country. And I think that there is so much to see in your lifetime. You know, why not start while you're young? You know, do an internship, start studying, you know, um, do your masters out here, you know, discover the world and, and live out here and figure it out on your own. You know, find out for yourself. And I think that's my biggest piece of advice. My favorite part about doing an internship in Ireland is living in Dublin. When I got to Ireland, I really wanted the city experience. And Dublin is a very accessible city with various buses, trains, or simply walking to get to your destination. And it makes it very easy to both get around Dublin and venture out of Dublin and see, see the beauty of Ireland in its entirety. And the city is not just accessible to Ireland, but, it's, but to Europe as well. Even though Ireland is kind of on its own, it's, it's very easy to get cheap flights into Europe for the weekend and be back in time for work on Monday. And so what I particularly like about Dublin is, is its culture that, that's been established here um, over the course of many years. And Dublin does a very, very good job at mixing so many different cultures together seamlessly. And everyone just kind of coexists here with their own, their own beliefs, their religion, their food, their music, their dance, etc. And it's very, very refreshing to see joining me today hope you had a good look into what i do from day to day and looking forward to being back on the hill in the spring